Today we're adding pages to our altered journal for the alt August Altered Anything Goes Junk Journal Challenge. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with another installment of August Altered Anything Goes Junk Journal Challenge. And today I'm working in the bigger book. And um, I have decided to use a Paris theme in this. So I'll be using the um, digital kit, two digital kits from Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. This is Paris Très Jolie. Um, so I'll be using these cards and this page. And then I also will be using um, the other the music page I've already cut it where did it go I've already cut the music page okay so that's one of the pages from the kit you get five five files and then I will also be using the ephemera kit from the Paris ephemera kit so, and it has pages that I will be using. Okay, so look for all of those to show up in this, this journal. I think it's going to be kind of fun. I'm trying to keep it less bulky. So this is the one that I'm going to be um, leaving the the mess <laughs> and um, so I am now cutting down the pages and I have decided to use um, thinner scrapbook paper uh, so that there's less bulk uh, many of them that I see they do go ahead and use the um, like the paper pads but I wanted less bulk, so I am cutting this down. Now my book is larger, so I have taken one of the pages from the book. Hi, Lucy. Hello. Hey, sweetie. I know. I know. I'm talking, and so you're coming to hang out. <laughs> That's so funny. Scaredy cat. Okay, so I'm taking. I took one of the pages and I measured it. And then I, um, I'm cutting my papers out just a little bit smaller. So they are seven inches by eight and seven eighths is what I'm cutting my pages to be. So there's that. And then I'm also using some eight and a half by 11 pages. And again, these will be eight and seven eighths by seven inches. And over here, I'm, I've got a big, huge stack of all the pieces that are left. So we're gonna do that twice. And I picked the side that had more of the colors. I, I want, these are the actual colors that are in the, um, in the digital kit and in the papers that I've chosen. I had picked up a Heidi Swap um, set of papers that was missing the cover and other stuff, but I recognized the papers. And so I have cut all those down and then we've cut those and then I had in my stash some French it is coffee dyed um, I'm okay with that because I do have some darker pages that I'm going to be using. So these are French text. This will give me one page. 
and then whatever else I have to make, I will, um, if I need more pages, we'll do some collaging probably. Okay, so I have, I have one more. This is the Heidi, some of the Heidi Swap book. And so um, there's three pages here. I'm gonna, I want them to be a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one so that the arrows will be up and down on the paper. Instead of cutting all three at the same time. And then this way, we're going to go with our 8 and 7 eighths. Okay, now for the next step, um, Crafty Irina had gone ahead and she... Um, we got arrows again. This time I'm just going to take and cut two. And this time we're going to cut them so they're going side to side. Um, so Crafty Irina uh, took and sewed around all of the outsides of her papers. Um, and so did Sabrina on the, the journal that she gave me as a gift. She also, I'll show you, sewed around the outside of each of these pages, these pages before she put them in the journal. I'm not going to do that because, again, um, I'm trying to go, I want to figure this out um, whether I'm going to have less bulk doing this um, using the lightweight scrapbook paper. If I add the stitching, that's going to add just a little bit of bulk, but it also adds major um, personality to the to the page. So, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. So we have all of these cut out. Okay, there's quite a variety of pages, and um, so I have not glued my pockets together. I'm gonna do it as I go. Um, hopefully that will work out, but. Um, when I was ready to go to bed, <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't have my pages all figured out yet. So, and then you just go ahead and glue them on. And again, using a wet glue so that it lasts, um, lasts longest. I'm going to use fabric tack right now, but I'll be using the the regular glue um, when I'm not on camera, just like an Aileen's or white school glue. I'd have that out right now, but I still haven't gotten it out of out of my stuff. So. Um, Crafty Irina recommends not using uh, the ATG gun or double-sided tape because eventually they have come undone and you don't want this <laughs> you don't want this book to come undone okay I think we're going to go ahead and use for the opening page. Here I'm going to use the, this was the music page from the um, digital kit. It's available in my Etsy shop, Dear Julie Julie. Uh, again, I'm using two the two Paris digital kits. There's also a physical kit um, available in the Etsy shop. And 
it has papers and everything that you need to make at least one journal. Usually my kits you can make more than one. Okay. So there we go. Just pressing it down. How fun is that? I love that for the for the first page when you open it. Okay, um, so what we have here is going to become a pocket because usually these first two pages, a lot of the times, these first two pages will be connected together and um, so here we go the edge. I got my book at Dollar General. Got it home and it's glued so it was not going to work to make to um, I mean I've been, I could have just cut the spine off. There we go. So that will give me a pocket here and then now we're gonna go ahead and start adding our pages and I'm gonna just go ahead and add pages but then I'm also going to um, add some double pockets. So let me show you on the, the next set how I'm going to do that. And that's just because I'm going to end up with so many um, leftover pages because uh, this book is not your typical eight and a half by, you know, nine by six or whatever book where you could take an eight and a half by 11 paper and have it in half. Now remember, this is the book that I'm leaving the mishmash on the outside of the pockets. I'm doing an experiment. <laughs> I just wanna see if, so there, and then we have, we'll have this pocket here. This big, beautiful pocket. Okay, now we have another big pocket here that we had already made. And let's see, let's go with a blue. Actually, I want blue here. I did stop and get some more glue. Now, um, let's see. One of the things that she said happened was that she ended up with wavy pages sometimes. Um, one of the things that you can use, there is a product called Yes. It's a paste. And um, my experience with that paste is you don't get the wavy um, the wavy problem. Okay, so your your papers don't warp. And um, it's a wonderful product. It's a, it's a little expensive. But I've always been really happy with it when I'm um, putting down full pages like this. And so I would I would recommend it. Again, it's like it comes in a jar. Okay, so what can we? We have such a variety. Okay, so that's a pocket. So 
what I was thinking is I wanted to do, there's one of the pages from the digital kit that is in the right orientation. Um, so these, I can choose one of these two, will be big enough. Um, it's not quite tall enough. So it's going to be that I'm going to do a pocket on that page. So let's go ahead and we'll use this one. Okay. And we're going to need to cut it down. Of course we could, if, you, if we're using it in that orientation, it will work, but this orientation, not quite. So this, this journal, my plan is to have pockets and stuff in it. The, the red one, um, when I get to that, it is going to be just quotes and um, and stuff like that. So this is just barely not big enough. So I think it'll be a great page for a pocket. Now I don't. I'm not going to worry about the bottom because you're not going to see it. Because I'm going to have a pocket. I'm turn it over and I'm going to measure it across the seven inches across. Okay, so that'll give us that up in the corner, and then we'll be able to put a pocket down in the bottom. And look, this one had, this one was ready to be put in a journal. It already had the back put on. That is one of the, the pages, is this background. It's one of the pages you get in the ephemera digital kit and it will work with tiny houses and a couple of the other digital kits that I have in my um, in my shop to be able to mix and match okay so see this one has the mishmash down there on the inside And what I'm thinking is with that mishmash, this pocket, this page actually has a planned separation because of the eight pages that we tore out. And we just need just a little pocket down here. And we'll go with this. It's going to need to be cut right in the middle of that. And there we go. So we'll just have a little pocket. And um, the other pockets I won't be doing, I'll come back and decorate. But on these ones where I'm using um, the digital kit, I will finish the page so that the whole outline of the page is, is done. Okay, so there we have that. So we have this here, I think.
so this is my cheat sheet so I remember what it's called <laughs> I'll still be using that on August 31st because it the words don't come out um, they come out all mishmashed also okay so I hope you are that you'll enjoy this um, challenge and that you'll join us. We do have a Facebook group, the August Altered Anything Goes Junk Journal Challenge. The rules to the challenge are there. I will also put the details video. This is a very, very simple challenge, again, because it's summer here in the United States and wanting people to just participate and you know, this time, be able to do something, maybe something different than, than you've done before. Okay, so we're just going to go through and continue to, um, you don't have to have, everyone doesn't have to have a pocket. It can just be, you can either cut out your page. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and rip out this page. Okay, or you can, um, let's do a black and white. So you can either rip out your page or um, glue them together. Again, I'm going for the less black. I thought that was my stripe. I want the black and white stripe. You guys, my thumb doesn't work. And, um, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Okay. I can't hold things with, there's no control. That's, that's the word. There's no control with my thumb. Okay. I'm going to want the black and white on this side, I think, this time. Maybe peach. So you could add coffee dyed page pages to this. I do also have some wrapping paper and I have a calendar. I don't know if I'll use the calendar or not um, because I have two calendars that are the same that I kind of want to do this other project with. But we'll see. If it gets down to it and I need a page, um, you know, calendar pages are thin. And so that for me might be a possibility. Okay, so there. Go through and we'll do one more. After this, um, well, the other thing, of course, you can go ahead and you can collage a page. So, using like this and this might be kind of cool. I think we'll do that actually. So we'll need to cut these down. Oh, well. oh, we need our cutter that has the, the ruler. Okay, so this needs to be the eight and seven eighths. Eight and seven eighths. We want this outside piece cleaned up. Line it up on here. Okay, and then measure. Let's 
not quite need tall enough. Okay. That's okay. We'll figure this out. First thing first, put down the pink. Wow, are we we're getting to the to the end. There's still no lid. I don't I think I might have left the lid at my dad's house when I was there. So I'm going back up there today. Uh, hopefully hopefully we'll see a doctor and get to know more about the plan. My dad is is better and better every day. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we could have if we could make could have made this a pocket. We still can actually. So if we we, to make it a pocket, we're going to go across the top, down the side, okay, I'm going to add a pocket across the bottom, so I'm not going to glue this down on the bottom, okay, but I am, go up here, So we are making a collaged page because we have so much of this stuff. So um, have this music paper that's almost cut to the seven inches. So this is from the So what this is going to give us, make sure this is going to be down, is a pocket. I mean, just awesome little pocket. So let's go ahead and put glue in the U shape. I'm trying to use some of this gloppy glue that's stuck on this thing. And then line it up, line it up, and there we have a collaged pocket page. Okay, so something can come and go right in here. Let's make sure that our book is down. So here's what we've got happening so far. And let's see, so then we're going to open it up and the last one we didn't do a pocket, so let's do a big pocket here. Today. 
We got one upside down over here. Let's see if this will work. We're getting to the very nubbins of the end of this one. Okay, so we're going to do a big pocket here. Okay, I am going to cut it off across because I have this size paper that will make great um, inserts. So that way it won't fall in. Want to use, you know, want to use what I've, what we have. Okay, so there's our big pocket. Go ahead and glue it down. And in that center spot. Okay, so our next one, so like I said, we'll be cutting down some of these and making cards that will go into some of these large pockets. Um, the other thing that we have in our stack. So this is our stack of papers that are cut for our, for our journal. And then we have some other different sized papers. So let's see. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is we need to cover this side, okay? Um, now one side or the either side, we can go ahead and let's see if we go with that. So we're going to want seven inches to the side, right? We can start with that. That's the width of our, the pages is seven inches. So again, we're trying to use up some of these scrap pieces that we have. So we're going to go to seven inches. We're going to cut two of these seven inches. Okay, we're going to end up with those left. Then we're going to go ahead and half of nine is four and a half and we need to go down just a little bit more before the, the seven eighths or before the three, three eighths. So in between it would be Sixteenths, um, seven sixteenths, or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, did we cut it too? Ah, I cut it on the wrong side. Okay, what did I do here? Okay, that's our seven. Okay, I'm looking at. There's. I was looking. Okay, so there's our seven. And these are, oh, I needed to be under five. Okay. <laughs> we'll use those for something. Those could be on the inside of them. Okay, so let's see. Let's, okay, with that. And. Oh, 
Oh boy, sorry about that. Let's try it again with the two colors that, that we had. Okay, so seven inches by four and just over three eighths. Okay, so here's our seven. So what is my rule? Measure 20 times, cut once, and I didn't do it, and I messed it up. Always, when you're filming, always mess up when I'm filming. Okay, so here's seven. And, okay, so just under, so right at the, basically right at the board. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to make two pockets that will come off this side. Okay. Or this side. And we'll go with this one feels like the heavier paper of the two so we'll put this one down below and this time we're going to add our glue like this leaving one of the sides open and so we're going to be on the bottom for this one And then we're going to do the same thing and add this one up here. Same thing. I did get some, um, I do, I have several haul videos that need to, that will go up in the next couple of days. Um, so watch for those. Okay, so we're going to match this up here and here. And we end up with a blob of blue in the center. Now remember, this is the book that I'm leaving the mishmash because I want to see if I can keep the book from turning into, you know, the big old, what do they call it, an alligator mouth or something like that. I don't know what, what it is they, they call it, hippo mouth. <laughs> okay, so now we have the two pockets here and the big pocket here. So we'll have the two little pockets. And, of course, you can come in with your corner rounder. And cut it. And then you'll know that those are side pockets. Okay. So there's that. And then let's see. We did that. So this is how we're going to do it. And I'm going to keep going and adding pages. But I showed you the double pages, doing a large pocket. Of course, you could also do a double pocket. Let's go back here and do a double pocket. So on one of our, where we're putting it together, we can just go ahead and, sure we can, with our Galopity glue. We can turn this into a double pocket. I mean this a lot of this is obvious but um, maybe not. Maybe to some of you you just had never thought of it. So my 
pedometer keeps falling off. Oh no! Wow, we really globbed up here. Okay, let's clean you off. Okay, so down the center. Down the center. We're at the very bottom of both of these bottles of glue. Okay. And again, maybe not wanting them to be so long. Do that. Come here. Okay. So, I want to make sure that the So we'll have a pocket here and a pocket here, just to be different. So that is what we've got so far. We have started adding our pages. We've cut them out just a little bit smaller than each page. I did not sew around the edges. Um, we've done a collage page and we've done a double side pocket page. And I think we'll go ahead and add Okay, so this is continuing our altered book and I showed you my theme. I will be using the Paris Trejoli and Paris Ephemera digital kits from the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop to finish and decorate this journal. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing the picture of the book you've chosen. There will be, a, there's a post in the group for you to show us the book you've chosen and um, something to do with your theme. So if you have a digital kit that you're gonna use or a paper pad that you're gonna use or you know one of those um, little books that has devotion stuff in it, that's what I'm gonna be using or a little friendship book or something. Whatever it is that's gonna tell the story about what your theme is, please post that in the um, group and look for the uh, mini challenge in the challenge tomorrow. We will, we should have one. And um, yeah, so again, this is the August Altered Anything Goes Junk Journal Challenge. And the deadline for this is August 31st. The Facebook group is August Alters Junk Journal Challenge. And I hope to see you there. Find something to celebrate every day. There we go. These are the pages that we got done. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Bye. Bye-bye.